So Warverlord is a new action warrior horror film about a group of five American paratroopers who crash land behind enemy lines the day before D-Day and they have to go and destroy this radio tower that the Nazis are using but they soon find out that the Nazis are up to something even more sinister behind the scenes. It's a very simple concept and very simple execution, it's exactly how it sounds. American soldiers crash land, they find out that the Nazis are making zombie-ish people and they've got to fight them and it's big bloodbath, lots of guns, lots of explosions. It's a pure popcorn flick, that's what Overlord is. It's not trying to be anything deep or complex, it knows what it is, it's completely aware of itself, it knows that it's just a ridiculous cheesy film about American soldiers fighting Nazis and Nazi mutant zombie people and it just has fun with itself and that's what I like the most about Overlord. It just has a good time with its absurd premise. I say the American soldiers are fighting zombies but they're not actually zombies, they're not technically undead creatures. The Nazis are really kidnapping people from the local village and injecting them with this serum that pretty much turns them into super soldiers, they get advanced strength, advanced agility, they don't die as easy, they get up from gunshots and knife wounds and stuff like that, but they're still kind of like ravenous and zombie-like enough for me to call them zombie-like people. They're ravenous, mutated, zombie-ish super soldiers. That's what they're actually fighting, but for the sake of not having to say that all the time, I'm just going to call them zombies. The film does take quite a while to get to the zombie action and all the gore. The first 45 to 50 minutes is introducing us to the main soldiers, watching them crash land and them trying to get into the village and they're befriending this girl called Chloe who's hiding them in their attic. It's perfectly watchable, it's not incredibly boring, in fact the whole plane crash sequence where they get shot down was quite intense actually. But you still realise that it hasn't gotten to the zombie gore fest yet and you're just kind of like tapping your feet going, come on, where are the zombies, where's the blood, where's the gore? But when you do eventually get to the zombie killing mayhem, it's actually quite a bit of fun. The climax of the film, the last 20-25 minutes was pretty entertaining actually. Lots of blood, lots of gore, lots of bullets, lots of death and explosions like I said. Quite a few gratifying kills as well, the kind of gratification where you start laughing at how awesome the death was. It's exactly how it looks and it's exactly how it sounds. American soldiers, zombies, guns, death, blood, explosions, gore, mayhem, carnage, more guns, more death, more explosions, more gore, more blood. It's a ridiculous bloody romp which you're either going to enjoy or you're not going to enjoy. It's as simple as that. For what the film was going for and what the film was trying to be, I personally had a good time with it. It's nothing remarkable in terms of plot or characters. You don't care about any of the people in this film really. But for the blood and the gore and the mayhem and carnage, I found Overlord to be a pretty good piece of escapist entertainment, a good popcorn film. So I'm going to go 3 out of 5 for Overlord. So have you guys seen Overlord? What did you think about it? And what's your favourite zombie film of all time? Whatever your thoughts are, tell me in the comments below. And if you want to see more of my stuff, click on one of these in a second and I'll see you all next time.